At the May 2014 town meeting and town election, residents approved funding for the library expansion and renovation project. The project cost is over $11 million. $4.5 million will be covered through state grants and another million through fundraising, while the remaining amount will be covered by the town. After a lot of hard work, planning the project, fundraising, and moving the library to their temporary home at 65 South Street, on Friday, March 11, 2016, the ground was broke, officially marking the beginning of the library expansion project. My role here today is really to, add, to talk about one question, which is, why do we care so much? Uh, you know, why do we need quiet buildings full of dusty old reference books in, a, in an age when everything's available on the internet and all books can be read electronically? And that has been uh, sort of the crux of the issues we've gone through here. So just to, just to recap why we, this matters. Uh, it matters because libraries are critical to communities for any number of reasons. Um, it's obviously the intellectual heart of any town, even in an age when information is ubiquitously available, it seems. It does provide historical co background, context, and synthesis of multiple sources that constitutes real knowledge. Possibly the greatest risk in today's multi-channel world is that most of us only use a few sources for our information and thereby risk falling prey to a single point of view. Libraries provide breadth and depth that let us draw our own conclusions. We also care because libraries uniquely provide a gathering place for an entire town. We used to have many more institutions that would bring people together in, in broad groups, but our opportunities for those kind of interactions nowadays have become limited. People talk, what is the hub or, uh, or the heart of, of a town? Could be town hall, it could be a coffee shop. I would argue it's clearly the library. The library is the gathering place. It's the place where people come, of kids of all ages, to, to get books, to take out resources, to have meetings, to talk, and to share a uh, community. And that serves such an incredibly important function. This day and age now, too, as more and more information goes online, there are many people, we don't realize, many people cannot afford a computer. So a library offers that as well for resources, for job searches, for so many other things, and for sharing information with their families. So I, I really believe that the library is the heart and soul of any, uh, any town, any community, and adds so much to community. Um, I do have a um, citation, uh, one from the House uh, on behalf of Carolyn Dykema, and one from the Senate uh, to the Hopkinton Public Library on the joyous occasion of the groundbreaking of the renovation of the Hopkinton Public Library. Uh, and I have, so I have the one from the Senate and one from uh, Rep Dykema, who was noted uh, wanted to be here. And I also have one for our terrific retiree. Uh, incredible efforts here and for your 11 years of dedicated service to the Hopkinton community and the joyous occasion of your retirement. Congratulations. So whether you want to advance your career, learn something, keep up with technology, or ensure your child's success, the library is a state place to start. With the recent recession, libraries have become even more important than ever, providing free access to information, lectures, and programs. With your new building, you're going to do all of this and so much more. You know, I think that a groundbreaking is a perfect time to make predictions. So I predict that about 16 months from now, you're all going to be here and you're going to be saying things like, can you believe how fabulous this new building is? Have you seen the children's room? Look at all the technology. Do you love the meeting rooms? And a few of you might also be saying, why did we wait so long? <laughs> well, we know why towns wait so long. It's not easy to find the money to build a new library. This is a big deal. A few of you this morning actually asked me if I could believe it, if I was really believing what was happening, and I think just at this moment it's hitting me, looking out and seeing all of you here. It is so wonderful and so exciting for our town to have had so much support 
and to have this wonderful group of people who has worked so hard to see this wonderful thing come to fruition. And as you've heard from our earlier speakers, it has been a team effort from day one. I, there have been numerous individuals and groups, some almost too many to mention, but it has been a team effort. Together, it has been the library trustees, the Friends of the Library, Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, the library director and library staff have all collaborated with the town, the town manager, the board of selectmen, the permanent building committee, the town engineer, and several town boards and committees have all worked together to bring us to this point. Thank you all. Thank you very much. All right, now toss that there. Ready, throw it. Ha, 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 